right, so what we're going to do is one thing we told you that's very dangerous to do, and that's have a listen to the contact of water. Now, from the class, I talked about the reactions going on. You're producing hydrogen gas, but the heat of the reaction is enough to get that hydrogen gas to ignite. Now, often what we do is we'll follow up the lithium ribbon into a ball, so it traps that hydrogen gas. What ends up happening when it goes, and poof, we'll get a little 4th of July. So you get a little early 4th of July. <laughs> you don't have to go to the Rivercats game tonight. We're going to do it right here at Folsom Fire. Now that's a little bit of lithium reacting. It's again, producing hydrogen gas. And then uh, you see how it changed the pH of that. Just that little bit of lithium in there, change the pH is very basic. All right, now scoop back a little bit here. I've watered it up to the ball to hopefully trap the ammonia, ammonia the uh, hydrogen. I'll throw it in there. The more you get piled into, the more it looks like a copper penny. So right got them going in there right now. Maybe in a little bit more time, they might look like a brilliant shiny penny, but for right now, there's your honey badger, and that's exactly what it is you're looking at. So when you walk into a kitchen, a shed, and you see a one pot, and you see that stuff at the top, that is a live cook. It doesn't have to be rolling. You see honey badger, that is a live cook. We're just gonna pull the dope, or pull the dope off now and salt it out. Uh, that was going pretty good, so I'm pretty confident we got methamphetamine. So we're going to make an HCL generator. So Jerry's right now pulling the clone fuel off the top. Remember, that's a methamphetamine foil. What we've also got in there, pseudofedrin oil, because we didn't let it go for an hour and a half, but we got dope. And CMP. That's our magic marker that tells us we're cooking dope by the ammonia method. Now there's various ways of doing this. You can use a shampoo dispenser as a pump, it's a Home Depot tubing as a siphon, a turkey baster, you punch a hole in the bottle, and let the top layer drain down, however you want to do it. Some people just pour it over a t-shirt to do it uh, as a filter. That's the riskiest way to do it because you have a high risk of a flash in <laughs> So now that we've got our meth oil, we need to put that methamphetamine into a usable form. So what we're going to do is we're going to salt it out. To salt it out, we're going to mix sodium chloride, table salt, and some sulfuric acid. So there's our table salt right there. All we have to add is sulfuric acid, and we will be creating a boatload of hydrochloric acid. So you're going to do that while you've got the respirator on. Gatorade bottle. We've got a cap that's been drilled out, tubing placed onto it, so when we make the gas, it's going to be channeled down the tubing and into the drink. Now, at this point, you guys, there's a wind blowing. I want to go up wind. Come up, come up this side over here. Alright, so I'm going to add the sulfuric. It's going to mix immediately with the sodium chloride to produce hydrochloric acid gas. You see the reaction start to heat. So it's producing gas. We're going to cap it. That gas is now being channeled out the bottom of that tube. And watch all the white stuff coming out of solution. That's all your methamphetamine. All that white stuff coming out of solution is a methamphetamine hydrochloride.
methamphetamine residues at the end of that. There's, your man, there's manufacturing right there. Often we don't get everything we need at every lab we go to, as far as evidence goes, so we're looking for what we can. HCL generators will have the residue of whatever it was they're salting out. You wanna know what the they're making? Grab the end of their tube. Cut the end of this off, submit to the laboratory, and they can tell you exactly what dope what dope's on this. Other than that, we got this portion of it. You can see here's our methamphetamine. It's all sitting down here at the bottom. Now just wait for that to filter out and we got our meth. You just now witnessed from start to finish the production of methamphetamine. And again, that's one of the reasons we do this cook is so you guys can actually say that firsthand that you witnessed the production of methamphetamine. You see here's our methamphetamine. It's all sitting down here at the bottom. You see it's starting to settle out now. Remember the methamphetamine hydrochloride is not soluble in the camp fuel. And because of that, forms a solid and it's starting to sit down there at the bottom now. You can see it up on the edges, it's coming out of solution. So that's your methamphetamine in this cook.